Hi friends, welcome back. Today I am going to demo. Today I am going to uh, explain important topic that is LSMW, which is a very very common and the simplest interview question. If you are mentioned in your resume implementation project it's a compulsory and mandatory question yeah. so lsmw what is lsmw LSMW is nothing but Legacy System Migration Workbench. It is a SAP predefined tool. This will be used to upload lakhs together data that could be transaction data, that could be master data from non SAP to SAP system. Or R by three system. Here, once you tell the non ACP system, the interviewer will be asked which legacy system or non ACP system in your previous company where you are worked implementation project. What is the legacy system? No worries. Other than SAP, you can say any any software. In a market, there are a lot of ERP packages available. For example, I have mentioned here, you can see the Microsoft Dynamic, Oracle, PeopleSoft, Darwin. If any interview will ask an implementation project, which software previously in your organization or your client or your business using you can tell anyone microsoft dynamic oracle people soft as i said you lsmw is a predefined tool given by the sap for this tool no need to pay any extra it is included in the sap so in lsmw we will get numerous wave in the sense we will have a multiple methods to upload a data to the sap server sap system the now the question is what is the t code for is this one the t code itself lsmw and here one more I have mentioned LTMC. This LTMC is nothing but we are using S4 HANA. We don't have this visibility or we don't have option to use LSMW. It's completely changed compared to ECC. So now let's concentrate and discuss only LSMW. As I said in LSMW there is a there are four steps, four methods, I'm sorry, not steps, four methods available. The first method is, you can see here, the standard batch or direct input. And second one is the batch input recording. And the third one is business object method, is nothing but a BOPI. And fourth, IDOC intermediate document so again here question as a functional consultant what we have to do here there are four methods are there which method is suitable for functional consultant so as a functional consultant we should aware the first two step methods the one is standard batch 
the again question here what is used by using the standard batch or direct input this by using this method we can upload transaction data like f-02 f-43 fd-60 fd-70 condition apply straight forwarded data no conversion conversion is in taxes rebate discount this we will not use this method for this we will use a different method here for any straight forwarded data we are using the first method that is a standard batch and second one is the batch input recording so any kind of master data you can take n number of master data we can upload it by using this recording method there is no any uh, restriction we have to use this one we, we, we should not use another one we can use n number of master data very simplest way and here as a functional consultant we should aware we should have thorough knowledge these two methods and another one is business object method and idog this is with the help of abapper technical guy we can perform these two methods so now we you know need to for we know we have to concentrate only this first two methods so these are all the steps once you heading the let me show my sap server these are my sap server and as i said sorry yeah, let me log in log in my sap server Yeah, as I said, the T code is itself LSMW. Just type in LSMW and it will be through this uh, message. Welcome to legacy system migration. Just can hit continue and see. Once you enter all the details, the project name and description. So already is available so no worries we will take new project and we have to feed this description project sub project object object and name you can you can type any anything here it's related to business and just click continue then you execute this button so here we have the total how many steps are available here 20 steps available so literally we not required all we no need to perform all this 20 step just we have to perform we should perform only this 13th step let me tell you one more interesting thing here no need to perform here 13 steps as a functional consultant just we have to perform only up to five steps it means maintain object attribute maintain source structure source field structure relation maintain field mapping conversion up to here is a functional consultant guy job after this 6 to 13 all this will be taken care of by the end user super user business user so we will receive the format we will receive the flat file from the end user or business teams 
business team will be tell business team will be suggest us this are all the field required this are all the mandatory so all those will be we are receiving from the end user side and business and super user side so according to the flat file we are creating the data again we are sending back to the user they are feeding and from 6 to 13 this steps are taken care by end user and thank you for watching this video and as soon as possible i will upload another video regarding this lsmw i am performing all these steps creating a couple of master data transaction data and bapi and idoc thank you very much guys have a good day bye bye